Hello intellectuals, stopkillinggames.com. Go to the website and sign a petition so that the laws can be changed so that the corporations can't steal the software that you bought and then destroy it. What's in the depths? Well, robots apparently. Mechanical dogs. That's a pan, I don't know. We must be here because we can't go straight up. So, obviously, the issue... There is no issue. There are just droids around. Will Julie help? Yes. What? An XP 450 for each, so we, we, we can still be leveling up. Oh, there was a mine here. Well, fortunately, as usual, we do have healing spells. Sure. Anyway, recently I talked... Oh, hey, data file. We're gonna have to read that. We should read that. I should read that. Oh, wait. Well. More mines. Stop it. We, we have one like that already. Um... And I already don't remember what they did. We swapped one for the other. We had two in... Obviously, we have two in our lightsaber. We switched one for Sapith. But... I don't know if, if it wouldn't be beneficial to just give ourselves both of them. <clears throat> we'll see about that. And we would be probably losing one bonus point... Bonus, bonus to attack of one for a bunch of certain damage. I think. Right, more parts. That's use gonna be useful, maybe. Or computer specs. Well, maybe that won't be useful. Oh, hey, a puzzle. So then. Yeah, yeah. Have, have you got it? Have you figured it out? Right, the solution is pretty simple. And also, they immediately put you in a solo mode so that you can do it yourself. The idea is, of course, to light up all the panels to green. And the solution is quite simple I think maybe I won't fuck it up that's something that I just remembered unfortunately it's, it was in a process of understanding here so the solution is to walk uh, in a in an H letter pattern starting from the uh, one plate that's sticking out right last time I talked about Star Wars the Old Republic and I talked about how it hitches on startup and then loads properly after a long while, or it just crashes immediately, and it's hard to play. Um, yesterday I figured out that whether it's a hitching at the startup or crashing immediately is completely fucking random, as I've managed to uh, have both situations happen one after the other, and interchangeably. Fortunately... Oh right, I was supposed to read the data pad because I don't know what's, what's in there yet. Fortunately... Also yesterday, there was an update to the game, which fixed that issue. So, as usual, whose fault was that? Of course theirs, of course theirs. And I say that because I also mentioned that I called support. And I called support a lot of times about this, how I um, tried to launch it, tried to repair it, I had to reinstall it, I had to disable antivirus, um, reinstall DirectX and C++ redistributable and I called them again and said that it's still not working and the last call that I had and I said it's still not working I tried a bunch of things the guy said oh no it's definitely on your side because uh, there's nothing wrong with the game so of course that wasn't true as the new update came out and the game works better so there's that of course it was my fault of course it is it's not like the game is from EA <laughs> A uh, novice Sith such as yourself cannot be trusted to remember even simple task. Oh, that's the solution to the puzzle, probably. Simple task acolyte. It is therefore prudent for your masters to explain themselves at length using very small words. The ancient sequencers on the lower levels can only be activated once all the sequencer tiles on the floor have been set to their active mode by walking on them in the correct pattern. To make all the tiles the same color, simply walk the tiles in the pattern of an H. I trust uh, there will not be another unfortunate incident like the last time. So you get the solution. It could have been a regular uh, puzzle where you just try to do that. You know, so that only the people who figure it out can gain entry. So that, you know, the chosen, the smartest, uh, have something to do in the base and they're appreciated for their ability, their ability puts them above others, you know, like Sith do, 
instead of giving you the solution and the solution just being letter H. And I, before I solved that, I said, I just remember the solution. Um, even if I didn't, the datapad t tells us all about it. So I didn't even need to remember the solution. Also, masters have to explain themselves at length using very small words. And then they go on about ancient sequencer, sequencer tiles, active mode, correct pattern. Make them from red to green would have been too complex, right? Set the floor such that. <sighs> well, anyway, so there's the solution. Rakata Computer. Welcome back, Reven. It has been some time since you last accessed my database. I was beginning to wonder if you had been terminated. No, I was just busy. I had other computers. <laughs> I'm cheating on you. I almost was, but I'm hard to kill. I'm not Reven anymore, I'm Torik. You recognize me? That's like the most interesting part of this. You recognize me? Of course, the builders constructed me with a full range of sensory input systems to complement my fully aware and self-sufficient programming. I recognize your appearance from your last visit, which is stored in my databanks. However, I am detecting some significant changes in your composition since your last visit. My composition, have I turned into a silicon-based life form? Your neurological patterns exhibit subtle yet substantive alteration in both thought patterns and information processing. These changes have been noted and recorded in my database. That seems intrusive. I haven't even said anything yet other than you recognize me. And you're already um, invading my privacy of my thought processes and... Uh, pattern recognition, whatever he said, personality reasons, something like that. <laughs> my thought processes, my thought processes. Like, because in D&D, &D, there is a spell called Zone of Truth. One way or another, you can make the uh, the creature, if they don't if they don't resist the spell, if they won't succeed on their saving throw, you can make them tell the truth. Only we, in reality, have such laws as you're not forced to uh, testify against yourself, which is kind of weird when you're put up on the stand and technically um, the accused one can't be asked the question did you do it? All right, and with that spell you're forced to testify against yourself but I mean laws could... Yeah, if there's a law in court that tells you that says you can't force uh, the accused to testify against himself themselves it sh I think it extends I think I think it extends, I say that, I'm, I'm conflicted, I think it extends uh, to other situations where you can't interrogate a guy, but then again, uh, police specifically use underhanded tactics and force you to spend an hour in a room to soften you up, to make you more susceptible to their manipulations, to force you to testify against yourself, to say anything really, that will be used against you later in court. So maybe that doesn't work later on. But then you use the zone of truth during the interrogation. Now we've got the conviction. You put him on trial, and then he doesn't have to admit it. I guess. I guess then you 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 could interrogate him to get more evidence to have a solid case instead of uh, showing that uh, it's just magic and he's being under the influence of some other spell. It, it could work if someone thinks about it. Um. If only someone would, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll keep that in mind, maybe, if I'll ever write an, an, an adventure. But otherwise, yeah, you're invading my thought processes. You've got um, an array of sensors that can recognize me, but you also have sensors that can read my mind, essentially, on some sort of a basic level, one way or another. That exists? Or maybe, maybe it does, because it's Rakata technology from before they fell from grace, essentially. Uh, where they could combine uh, force with uh, technology, with, me with electronics, so that the, the computer can sense you with the force, and the force allows for empathetic bonds, where you can sense somebody's uh, feelings and emotions. So maybe it makes sense after all, only it's still uh, invasive, and uh, I, don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like that you're complaining. That I'm <laughs> but like I said, I explained that. Right. Your database, what are you? I need some information. What do I need? I, I just need to flip the switch. Uh, we're not going into it because we don't give a fuck. 
I need some information. Due to my system's ability to monitor and repair themselves, you will find all the data within my archives has remained fully intact. Please choose the topic you wish to you wish information on. And tell me about the Star Forge. Would he? Would the computer he would it? Tell me about the Star Forge or will it only Tell me how it's the monument of the Rakatan Empire, the sign of their infinite power and such. Nothing, nothing specific. How can I shut off the disruptor field? That, that's what we need. Do you know anything about the star maps? We already collected them all. That's all we needed them for. How can I get the upper level, to the upper levels of the temple? That's also an important question. Tell me about the history of the infinite empire. Maybe some other time. Maybe some other playthrough. Maybe your playthrough. Get the game, it's pretty cool. Um, Tell me about the Star I'm gonna risk that to see if they're gonna say something else. Tell me about the Star Forge. The Star Forge was constructed during an apex of the Infinite Empire's power, a true technological marvel. It is an enormous space station that serves as both factory and battle dreadnought. Oh, so we finally have some answers. That's what the Star Forge is. Uh, the Star Forge can mass produce immense fleets with a minimum of time and resources. In addition, the Star Forge also shares much of the same technology used in my own construction. In many ways, the Star Forge is like a living entity. It feeds, it hungers, it draws on the energy flowing through all living things, what you called the Force the last time you were here. The ability to feed and consume the living energy of the Force is the key to the Star Forge's power, but ultimately it was also what led to the destruction of the Infinite Empire. How? Will it go into detail? Uh, what do you mean? I want to ask something else. Maybe maybe I don't care what, what it means. I can ask about that some other playthrough. Your playthrough. Um, it said Dreadnought, but it's also, yeah, it, minimal resources, only we've already seen it in a cutscene where it's orbiting the sun very fucking closely and isn't melted also and irradiated, but it draws from the sun, the star. And it's fine because you know stars are fucking massive, and they they fuse elements in them. So we can go from, of course, helium to uh, well, hydrogen to helium, and then further up to iron, and there, and then further as well. And maybe once one star is depleted, you can go to an older one where it produces uh, uh, heavier elements already. One way or another, right? Right, right. <laughs> obviously, obviously, because all the elements come from star fusion, so there's that. Um, I want to ask some other, something else. Do you know my system's ability more? Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. How can I shut down disrupt? Uh, how can I shut off the disruptor field around this planet? The disruptor field was constructed as the Star Forge's primary defense against enemy attacks and can only be deactivated from the upper levels of the temple. So how can I get? To the upper levels of the temple. My systems control the doors to the upper levels, allowing only those who are worthy of the Rakata legacy to pass. Rakatas. Rakatases. The last time you were here, Revan, I unsealed the doors for you. Cool, do it again. However, the subtle neurological changes I detected in you earlier likely detected in you earlier likely caused a failure in the recognition system that would have Open the doors for you. But you recognize me with everything else, so just open the fucking door. I have updated my database to recognize the new configurations in your mind, Robin. The doors to the upper levels will once again open for you. You know, personality is somewhat of a constant and steady... Is there any better word for that? Static construct of your mind. It's relatively stable. What I'm trying to say is that you are who you are and you're gonna exhibit the same properties, the same characteristics as you grow older. You're gonna be, um, but that's also temperament, but anyway. Um, uh, for instance, the five factor personality. Five factors of personalities. Um, the attitude to new experiences, uh, extraversy, and things like that, right? And they're relatively stable throughout your life. So you're, you're, if, if you're an extrovert as, as a young one, you'll be extrovertic in your older days years actually but um you always change and also not even if not always your mind can be changed on some things like if you're voting <laughs> if you're voting for one party but later on you vote for other party because you've learned about more intricate you've you've learned more facts or more about 
how economy works. So you're seeing flaws uh, in the simplistic approach of the previous party. Maybe um, someone just convinced you about something and that has further reaching effects in your worldview. So that can change. Is that also picked up? Because my memory has been erased and memory is pretty much what makes us ourselves. The experience we have shaped uh, shaped us. And if we don't remember the uh, the experiences, we only have the temperament, that's mine, uh, the temperament to go on and the basics of uh, personality. So our personality is ought to remain the same, but uh, led by those um, principles, we could have had different experiences to build our personality on. Um, persona, maybe, the, our person on. So if we got convinced of something else and then we come back to a system governed by a computer like this, um, are we gonna get not recognized because now our uh, ideas and ways of processing th uh, information changed? If we had like a very important experience in our lives between uses of this computer, uh, will that also be an issue? Imagine if uh, something like that happened with your iPhone where it uh, checks your fingerprint or face and you had an accident where maybe that's a bad example when it comes to the face because it's more about uh, bone structure rather than how your skin looks like. But maybe you had an accident where you lost uh, a cheekbone. That's an issue. Maybe your, your jaw has changed because you had cancer. Maybe you had an accident where your fingerprint no longer reads. So that's a minor thing, minor, very physical f thing that leaves an imprint in technology and the, com the computer, your device, uh, doesn't recognize you anymore. How do you get in there? It would be good if you had two ways to interact with your technology and neither of them relied on your biometrics so that the police can't take your phone and just try every finger until it opens without your consent. Right then, so now the way is opened. I'll be going now. As you wish. Please return if you find yourself in need of the information stored within my database. Sure thing, computer. Right. The last thing that I want to talk about in this episode is a little, is a little bit of a drama. You might have heard about a certain fat ass who was faking that he's got cancer. And the cancer is polycythemia vera. Not that he has it, but that's the cancer he claimed that he has. And so he went on and on how he's got polycythemia vera, and of course eventually his story started to crack, where he says, he said, um, my doctor told me I've got polycythemia vera, which is a type of cancer. We're doing additional tests to confirm it. I've got a diagnosis of polycythemia vera, and now we have to confirm it. And then he said, uh, he might have said it's polycythemia vera, and I had to go home and Google it, because the <laughs> apparently he didn't say that, because the doctor memed on him. Oh, those are fine. We need to go here. Not that, not that it's a marker that I can see on my map. J just go forwards down the corridor. Um, so I think what actually happened is first of his fat, obviously. Second, polycythemia vera is vera means true, and polycythemia is poly meaning many. A scythe is is from uh, cytoblasts, which are the red blood cells, and emia um, presence in blood. So the name of the cancer is true, many red blood cells in blood. That's that's the door that we have to open. Yes. Oh, hey, uh, new challenges. So we do the normal, regular. <laughs> Are all them there yet? What? Oh, right, the one uh, got destroyed, so... Oh, hey. <laughs> he came up right... <laughs> he came up right for me. What? Right, I was... I, I could also check out the... If, if I should swap the... Uh, crystal in my saber. So where's the work workbench, though? Here, armory... Skill computer. Maybe in armory? Maybe. I'm gonna make my way there. So, that's the name of the cancer. Uh, high red blood count and high red blo blood count. True cancer. Truly truly caused by cancer. Truly an issue. Now, um, you could also have polycythemia, which is just a symptom. Symptom, I think. Um, which is just that you have a high red blood count. Bl blood, red bl cell count in blood. Yes. And that's a different thing. Now, see, he's fat, so his heart is in poor condition. 
um, his uh, blood vessels are constricted by all the lard. So the little blood... Oh, come on, work. So the little blood, the heart barely pumps. Now, um, Upari, D8, attack bonus 3, and another, that's Solaria, we can't use that. Fircran, we picked up, where's, where is it? Oh, I can't use two. That's the, oh, okay. So that's the, that's the answer to that. We can't use two of the same crystals. So, we've got the best picks uh, with that crystal. Um, uh, the symptom is, uh, high, right, his constri constricted blood vessels, uh, limit the blood flow and the poor condition heart limits the blood flow so the adaptation of the body is to produce more red blood cells so that um, the same volume of liquid let's say blood can carry more oxygen anyway so that's an adaptation so because he's fat his organisms ad organism adapted to have high red blood cell count high red <laughs> red cell blood count <laughs> Red cell count, okay, in plan. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know how to uh, order, uh, what, what's the order I should put the words in? So he's got high red blood cell, anyway, <laughs> in blood. So that's polycythemia, that's the symptom. And it's possible, it's possible that he's got cancer, we need to check so that it's not just that he's fat, he might also have cancer, we might go ahead and check, but also he's fat. So the doctor tells him, you've got polycythemia, and he doesn't mean, it doesn't say, you've got cancer, polycythemia vera, you've got polycythemia, and what he doesn't say is, that's, the, that's just a symptom, or maybe he does, and then the fat ass goes online to say, I've got cancer, uh, pay me some money out of pity. So the doctor says, I've got you've got polycythemia, we're gonna check if you've got polycythemia uh, vera. What I'm trying to say is that, he definitely says, you've got polycythemia, and he means, it's the symptom, or symptom. I'm gonna go with symptom, and it's a symptom. We're gonna have to check if it's not a symptom of something bad, like cancer. He might not have used the word cancer at all. He might just said, we need more tests to confirm other things. He might have said polycythemia, which might be a sign of polycythemia vera, and then the Farah said, oh, I've got polycythemia, so that definitely means polycythemia vera, and I'm gonna spin the story so that, I've already, that I already have the cancer, and that's what he ran with, but I'm convinced that he did, that the doctor used the word polycythemia to mean his symptom and then he spun the story one way or another to mean that he already has cancer and it's the um, animal crossing of cancers at that. Right then, I wanted this to be somewhere online because no one else is gonna tackle that because no one else understands this. Though there are medical channels around but they don't do drama. Not that kind of drama. They do medical drama actually. So that's my thought on that. Um, we're gonna go through the door, and I don't know if it will trigger cutscene right away, but I know what's coming, and if it will trigger the cutscene right away, um, that's gonna happen in the next episode anyway. If not, then thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed, and hopefully we will see each other in something. I play for you for free, in the meantime of course interact with this video and every other video on my channel, preferably by watching and sharing it with your friends. Check out the RGB rave below around the like and subscribe buttons. And if you don't like the content, it's entirely your fault.